Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Our mission at the garage is to save you guys as much money as we can. That's why we make these absolutely free videos and we teach you how to fix your car for free. Let's go ahead and start on it now. In today's video guys, we're going to show you how to test seat, uh, seat belt buckle. Okay, those things, they often go bad. And why they go bad? Because you insert your seat belt in and out all the time. So there is a little bit of switch inside that will tell uh, the airbag system if the belt is being used or not. And if it's not used, you're going to get that annoying beeping or annoying light uh, that tells you that the seat belt is not used. So what we'll be doing today will apply to pretty much any v any car. Okay, not just BMW. We'll be using here that Maxicom. Okay, Maxicom scanner. Uh, it works pretty much on any vehicle. You can check it out in the description of the video below, not just BMW. You can access every computer in the car, re read codes, delete codes, and see live data for that computer. You cannot do programming, but uh, for that price, that thing is amazing. So, I'm going to go under Diagnostics here. Select Control Unit now. Next, we'll select Body. Okay. Now, the seat belts are usually under the airbag system, right here. Now, next we're going to select live data, okay, like that. General, if you have different make, let's say Mercedes, the names might differ a little bit, but as a whole the uh, procedure is the same. Now, if we want to test the passenger side, it says not inserted. So, we're going to go ahead, insert the belt, okay, and it's going to change. Check this thing out to insert it. Now let's unbuckle it. Okay, not inserted. Let's buckle it again. Now it says inserted. Let's leave it like that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and you uh, try the driver side now. Okay, I'm going to plug it in. Check this thing out now. Plug it in. Okay. Okay, it says inserted. Now I'm going to unplug it. Voice entry ended. Okay, it's going to say not inserted. So you can see that's how you can test the seat belt buckle. Uh, that's one of the easiest ways to do it. Otherwise, you have to remove it. And some of them are still really hard to diagnose and test. So. Hopefully guys the video was helpful and we were able to save you money. We guys have more than 19,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels. Check them out. We have videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.